Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, a few of you have been mentioning this. Uh, Microsoft seems to have removed from the update catalog the update files for 22H2 on Windows 10. So it seems that they don't want us to move there right now. Um, so, of course, uh, 22H2 is available as a enablement package from the Windows Download Pack Catalog. So if you have moved on to 22H2, what you could do is just stay there and wait, um, see what happens. What I've done personally is I've actually reverted back. I just uninstalled the uh, KB update that made us go to 22H2, and I came back to Windows 10, uh, 21H2. And of course, now I will uh, enable the uh, Windows updates from uh, to C-band um, updates that were released uh, because there was um, there's some uncertainty. You know, I was telling everybody not to do it. You know, let me do this, the experimentation. I'm here for that and to show you guys it's much better. Uh, as for 22H2, you probably will get updates anyways, and you are on the next enablement package for the future of Windows. But, you know, since it doesn't bring anything, it's not something that you is is really um, you know useful and important to do in any way uh, but um, this uh, I, I went back to 21h2 after uh, the uh, the fact that they removed the packages they didn't want us to be there so you see here now I have my uh, KB updates and uh, you also have a .NET framework update that is available and click the download and install here so there's a .NET framework also that's available for update apparently so uh, these are available for the standard 21H2, 21H1. So like I said, I reverted back. I just removed the update um, in case it would not update or have any uh, thing. But it's nice because it showed us that 22H2 is definitely just a small enablement package and doesn't bring anything. So we had a little glimpse of technically what 22H2 is. No new features and very small just bump to the... Uh, to the update number and you know you guys are all pretty much in agreement that instead of doing doing these little bumps in update uh, why don't you just you know enable the uh, Windows 10 operating system to be good until 2025 and that's it um, it does seem that it's kind of a little weird to just you know issue a little update just to bump up a, a build number so the files have been removed it seems Microsoft doesn't want us to move there if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.